Hi, I'm Molly Lear, FSN Department Pilot Plant Manager. I'm going to be showing you around our pilot plant. The pilot plant is located in Building 24, Food Processing, where we also have our culinary lab and teaching lab. The pilot plant sees roughly a thousand students during the academic year. There are currently 10 food science and nutrition classes that take place in the pilot plant. Students from both our food science and nutrition science majors have class in the pilot plant within the first two quarters that they join our department. Our pilot plant is also heavily used by our faculty and undergraduate and graduate students to perform research. You may be wondering what a pilot plant is. Well, a pilot plant is a small scale facility that is utilized to find out the behavior of a process before using it on a large industrial scale. We utilize small scale equipment to showcase different unit operations related to food processing, such as drying, thermal processing, mixing, extrusion, concentration, and particle reduction. These pieces of equipment are very familiar to what the industry uses, so our students are familiar and trained to be ready day one when they graduate from our department. This is our 4,000 square foot pilot plant. We have a smaller pilot plant, which is another 1,800 square feet, but that'll be for another tour. This space has multiple uses, teaching, research, and industry-related projects. As a food science student, depending on your concentration, you'll have up to 10 labs in this space during your time at Cal Poly. During these classes, students are working in the pilot plant learning about mass balance, heat transfer, heat penetration, thermal processing, types of drying, and physical properties of food, quality measurements, and basic sanitation. You might have heard that Cal Poly has some enterprise opportunities for our students. The Food Science and Nutrition Department offers to the students the opportunity to be in the team running the production of jams, barbecue sauce, and chocolate. The students are in charge of all aspects of the production of these products, from ordering ingredients to production and marketing. We have about 20 to 30 students working on this team. If you want to try them, you can buy them while at Cal Poly in our campus market, in most of our grocery stores in the area, and available online. We are selling our products and we want our students to learn the rules that apply to any production facility. Our pilot plant is a food grade space and is inspected by the Food and Drug Administration and the California Department of Public Health. The pilot plant is designed to be durable, cleanable, and flexible. Most of the equipment is on wheels, which allows us to put together setups that are optimized for the production of a specific type of product. The facility has a variety of utilities, steam, compressed air, water, vacuum, and various electrical capabilities, 110, 208, single and three phase, and 483 phase. As a student using the pilot plant during a lab, you can anticipate following our good manufacturing practices, which cover your attire, conduct, and health and safety. Safety is a top priority, so you will see personal protective equipment located throughout the facility. The pilot plant has a variety of different pieces of equipment, lab scale freeze dryer, tray dehydrator, Hobart mixer, stork spray dryer, Klextrol extruder, JBT retort, Dixie double seamer canner, multivac vacuum sealer, shear mixer, steam jacketed kettles, vacuum kettle, our jam and barbecue line, blancher, and for a full list, please see our capabilities document on the FSN webpage. You might wonder what all of these pieces of equipment do. They are used to prepare foods such as frozen vegetables that need to be blanched before freezing to maintain quality, to a delicious jam, or to make a delicious freeze-dried fruit that can be added in your cereal, for example. In this space, you will learn about the wonderful world of food processing and learn how to make sure the food you produce has the quality attributes and the safety standards that you are looking for. There are multiple support rooms within the pilot plant, such as the quality assurance lab, walk-in coolers, freezer, dry storage, equipment storage, dry analysis, and a sensory kitchen. Lab courses scheduled in the pilot plant will typically meet in building 24, room 113. The classroom is utilized by the instructor to go over the lab activities prior to entering the pilot plant to begin the lab. Your labs are designed so every student can use the equipment and not only get a demonstration of the equipment. It is therefore very important to have this debrief time to make sure our students will be safe and ready for an amazing experience in the pilot plant. Thank you for watching our tour of the FSN pilot plant and for more information, you can view our website, check out our Facebook and Instagram accounts, or contact me for more info.